A very famous quotation is this one that says, those who live by violence will die by violence. Notorious bandit kingpin, known as Sunny Dangote, no relative of the famed businessman, had been killed in a gun duel with fellow bandit leader Kachala Dankarami. I hope Dankarami. Dankarami group. Okay, along the Dumbum Dumbum. Oh, really? Uh, I'm, I'm having some blessings here. You know, <laughs> Dumburan forest, forest between Batseri and Jibia local government area of Katsina State. Now, the brute was eliminated along with his two siblings, known as Lema Nabalewa and Usman Yellow, during a fight that broke out between the two camps. Now, workers of inequity will meet their Waterloo. But before we begin the discussion, let's share the moment uh, Baba Jide went to Katsina State to find first-hand information about banditry. That's as far back as uh, 2019. Let's go there. Uh, these bandits used to attack uh, sometimes simultaneously like two, three villages uh, in a day. Uh, that's how we've been battling with them, with the security agents, all that we have been doing to, to, to abort this thing. Uh, and when the rainy season comes, it makes the whole thing worse because these people can lay ambush for the security of relatives which they uh, inflict uh, some casualties to our security uh, personnel. Okay, I'm right now at the headquarters of Basari local government. Basari local government has come under constant attack, severe attacks from bandits. Communities like Yau Yau, Kwandaso, Wagine, Rumor have come under attack in recent times. But the people hope that the little peace they enjoy at this time will continue. All right, 2019. Um, Charles, you know that we cannot call the bluff of these bandits is not just depressing, but uh, sends negative you know, news down yeah. the line. I have a friend in Portinscom um, who is uh, actually, uh, a, what do you call, not outside the Borno people, um, what do you call that? Canuri. Canuri, yes, a Canuri. Uh, we, 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 inter, we interface, uh, we interact every time. So he says, and I, I tend to believe him, that he believes that um, if the communities and um, leaders and all of them in, in Northwest are able to do what they did in the Northeast by, you know, a holistic um, uh, effort and approach. Um, you have the the villagers, you have the traditional rulers, you have all of them. They all came to say enough was enough. Mm. But it, it it does appear to him that in the northwest there are people who are feeding fat from the insurgency right now, the banditry over there. That's why it has refused to go. And I tend to believe him at all. Look at what's happened now. Okay, they say, okay, look at the massacre. Somebody also uh, cut off uh, of another group. Oh, why did you have to come over to my camp and know, and then for two hours, for two hours, gone to it for two hours, and then nothing, nothing, they just did that for whole two hours until not only those two people were killed, not only the siblings, there are reports say there are other people also were mm. killed and all that. For whole two hours, they were fighting, gunshot, and everything, and then nobody could do anything about it. And then you also see right now. People, children to go to school, say it's a whole lot of problem over there because it, the, the banditry and all this criminality has, has, have, have left uh, the northeast where it started from. It now found ground, safe haven in the northwest. But I think as we speak, I think the uh, leaders of thought, leaders, whatever nomenclature you may want to mm -hmm. hang on their neck, they have a reason, they have a cause to all come together to say enough is enough so that we begin to see a semblance of peace over there so that people can begin to travel and then enjoy. I mean, North is a very beautiful place. It's a very beautiful place that you can even do business and become, become very comfortable. But nobody can move to the farm. The other time, we, I think it was also 2019, yeah, we discussed it right here, when people were harvesting potatoes and then band, bandits came there and all, before you knew it, dozens, dozens were, were hacked down for no cause of any. But I think if we ever want to get out of it, leaders, in the northwest, they have a lot to do uh, to uh, so that they can walk hand in hand with the security yeah. agency within, within Nigeria. Provoke the question, Jide, of how did we get to this dangerous pass? 
No, because we did not take um, sufficient action to put an end to this. Um, in 2019, I went to Shimfida. Shimfida is a village in Jibia local government. Okay. And Shimfida was the base of this bandit mm. leader, Sonny Dangote. He has been resident there for long. He's been killing soldiers the there. People know him. They know him. Of course, they know him. If, if you cannot, he kills people, even residents of the village. He kills soldiers. On um, on July 2020, for example, he killed troops of the Special Army Super Camp, 16 of them, and 28 others were injured. This is Shinfida as I visited uh, it, in, uh, and I interviewed bandits in this city. You will see later on, um, you see me talking, I spoke with residents of the town, victims of banditry. I also spoke to bandits. That road, I say, a, a road that leads all the way to San uh, uh, camp, is camp was a school. He took over a government school, hmm. converted it to his own camp. I've talked about Sanidan Gote here a number of times, that uh, how can a bandit be this uh, bold? Powerful and then, uh, you killed 16 soldiers, injured 28. That was not enough. There were other times, even on the 16th of January, there was another attack, this one in Basari, where they showed me talking uh, a while ago. So I was standing on that road, just about 400 meters to his camp, and I was pointing as, at his uh, fighters as they were going. They came into town to buy, I hope we can, they can show us I that. Have that they they came into town to buy things, and they were heading to the camp. And I said, these are fighters of Sani Dangote, the bandit who rules this area. They've gone to buy things in the market and they are going back to their base. The really? base, the base be, was a school. Mm. Now, a, a Nigerian school that he took over, converted to his own base. Everyone knows that. But for so long, this guy was just killing people. On the 31st of August, he also ambushed soldiers and killed two of them in 2022. Killed two soldiers and injured four, you know? And then, um, okay, the first attack was on July 2020, you know, after my uh, visit to the area. On that day, he killed a major, a captain, and a lieutenant. Just imagine that. Hmm. He got away with it. Now, the fate that has befallen him is similar to the fate that befell Buarindaji. Buarindaji was the bandit leader in Zamfara State. The government tried to get close to him, tried to use him so that they can mm -hmm. have relative peace. Buarindaji overreached himself by robbing Dogo Gide's in-laws. After he robbed Dogo Gide's in-laws, Dogo Gide went to him and said, ah, Oh boy, now you why, know, why, why are you doing why, this? Why you go steal my people's <laughs> cattle? He said, well, he has sold it and there's nothing he can do. Dogo Gide came back, killed him, left his, uh, Cops. his uh, corpse in, um, in the forest, Dan Sadao Forest, one of the most dangerous forests in Nigeria, in Maru local government of Zanfara. Mm. He left his corpse there to rot. It was the military that came mm. to take yeah, Warindaji's yeah. Uh, hmm. cops away. This person too, this was what happened. He felt that Kachala Dankrimi had overstepped his band. This is a bandit. I interviewed this bandit. This is a bandit that I interviewed in uh, 2019. Another one? This one. Uh, yes, that's another one. They are bandits. I interviewed them. Because so, there was so, an so attack for, on for, that community. For, for them, it's a full-time business. But, but, no, they, but, it, they don't but, but if you look at them, they, they, but don't, they, they, don't, they don't look well fed. It seems as if uh, they're just full soldiers that are... Are they Nigerians? Well, well, no, no, that's not... That's the, no, no, that's no. The the they don't look well fed. Look, the, 
the bandit leaders, these are food soldiers. That's what I'm saying. They yes. are leaders. Mm. The kind of business that they do, you ask yourself, when you see Dogo Gide, for example, you see Dogo Gide speak, Easy. he doesn't look like a rich man. Mm. But Dogo Gide carries out kidnapping projects mm. that run into billions, billions of naira. Dogo Gide was the one who kidnapped the stu the, those students of um, uh, um, federal government uh, college, mm. Sabon uh, mm. uh, Yauri. In, uh, okay, in Sokoro? Uh, in in no, uh, Kebi State. In Kebi State, sorry, yeah. That time. So, the point I'm making is, he, he confronted this guy. Why would you steal a life You will also rustle my card. From my brother. Mm. Unfortunately for him, he wanted to, he, he went to the camp of Kachala Dankremi. Mm -hmm. And Kachala Dankremi is one of the best harmed bandits in the whole of the area. He has weapons that his, his, mm. his, mates, his mates can only dream of. Mm. So he didn't know that they had prepared for him. As he was getting to the camp, they came out and attacked him. The report that I got was that he was actually slaughtered like a ram. Okay. Some reports uh, say he was shot. But wow, my source in wow. the area said they got hold of him. And then slaughtered and then, and, like and, and, so that others will learn. Hmm. So this uh, this fight now, because he is from uh, Kasina, whereas Dan, uh, Dan Kremi is from Zamfara. The now, Sunny Dangote. Uh, yeah. Sunny Dangote is from Kasina. And so, Dan Kremi is from Dan Kremi is Zanfara. from Zamfara. So he's even now becoming a, a interstate. Fight. Interstate. Yes, hmm. a fight between. Um, bandits from Zamfara and the ones from Kassin. And you know the two states are yeah, yeah, very close. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of intermarriage between people of Zamfara and uh, Kassina. When I went to Dance About in 2018, it's just a stream that separates two, mm. uh, two, uh, two communities. You have Dance About very close to Kankara in, uh, in uh, Kassina. And a stream actually separates Kankara um, to a separate dance about and Zafara State, just a stream. They are very close. So the bandits also, the forest linking those two states, mm. the bandits they've overtaken constantly. Them. So the, the, what I think the military can exploit the crisis between them. I didn't even hear people were happy that uh, they should even fight the war. You know, it happened yes. even in uh, Borno State too. They were happy they we should fight the war. Uh, remnants of Shekau's mm. faction. Yeah. began to mm. fight the um, uh, Banawi uh, faction I, 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 because they felt that it was that faction that came to kill uh, uh, to attack uh, Shekau and Shekau seeing that he had been cornered he used the suicide vest that was also uh, mm, nice, nice, that was nice. so they've not forgiven them they've been killing each other this uh, is a Banawi faction Banawi, yeah. and then uh, Shekau's Shekau. faction. They've been killing each other now for at least two years. Now, given what we are hearing, given what is going on, the military should be able to exploit this, yeah, this, the, and, this deal, and deal decisively yeah. with these guys once and for yeah, all. Because we can, call the, we can yes, call the bluff. Yes, we know their camps. If I, I told you where Dangote had this camp, I knew his camp. That's Sunny Dangote. Sunny so Dangote. That, uh, let's say. You know? I knew where his camp was. So if I knew as a civilian, who would, who, somebody would tell me that there's a video that I'll probably uh, most likely play on Sunday. You see where the secretary to the government of Zanfara, uh, Kassina, was going into that camp to plead with him to let the people be. He was on a bike. Dr. The, uh, Mustafa. So it's not everybody knows where his camp is. Why have we not leveled the camp until one of them killed him? So these things happen. They kill one another. Daudawa, mm. after the kidnap of the, um, of the GSS uh, mm. Kankara okay. students, uh, yeah. Daudawa, who said that he had given up bandits yeah, and swore yeah. with the Holy Quran, when he became hungry, he came he out back. Of, uh, of hiding and... Came out he came into the forest. He wanted to continue mm. kidnapping. It Maybe was his rival. Is. It was his rival that killed him. Yeah. So, amongst themselves, these rivalries happened. 
they kill one another. It is bound to. Well, but that's because, because, because they say even, I'm sure you we are aware that, even because I, I, I learned that in Niger, Niger State where they have demarcated the region. Yeah, uh, right, you don't step, know, yeah, yeah, you don't step beyond this point. This is yours. They will carve the whole you, thing. You, you know your boundary. You know your boundary. So yes. don't get in there. So that's exactly what happened now. You left your boundary to come arose uh, uh, cattle from another another camp. So it is it, for them. It was it was it was ahead that of you. Is. Stay stay with stay within your boundary and whatever you gain there, you gain. Leave us alone. As you said, with all these things that are happening, this is just a time for infiltration. This is not a time right now because they are not settled. Because if yeah. the enemy is not settled, you can move in and then do the damage. As I said earlier, I'm also going to reiterate that, that, that just did say that uh, somebody had to go to plead, a government official going to yes. plead. So, was so they plead the order. There was a the <laughs> time he killed eight children. That this uh, Sanedango yes. and set ablaze the abuse In that same Shinfida where his camp is just a stone throw, Away. So when you plead, what does it what does what, what does it presupp it presupposes that uh, no, they, 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 they are, I know a governor who used to call a bandit to beg him, hmm. that, please, don't cross into my state before God and man. Because he called the bandit in my presence. There are some things, some things we can't say on air. And he said, Look, I had no choice. They begged these guys, they offered them amnesty. It didn't work. In Zafara, they offered amnesty. It mm -hmm. didn't work. Mm -hmm. After a while, they go yeah, back. They go, they will, they will go back. Yes. Casina State mm. offered amnesty two times. Two times. These boys still they return. They still return mm. to kidnapping people. So where you are um, confronted with that kind of situation, what do you do? But again, we 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 are supposed to have. And uh, they are not. They are, they, are supposed no, to they, do they, But do. the governor does not control them. No, no, no. What I'm saying. I mean, I, 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 I didn't know within the. Did you not see Nigeria? that video where? The former governor of Casina State went to. Yes, I saw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Warren Daji, yes. the one that they remember that video. murdered, was standing mm -hmm. beside yes. him. With his with head, gun. With his head. Yes, I saw that. Was a very scary sight. Mm -hmm. A governor yes. literally put I mean, his life on the line. He, he, he trained there. The guy had his gun. Mm. And you, you, you are, you're going to take it from him. No, no, the question you ask, when, when they see all these photo footages and all that, I, but these are. These are telltale signs that they indeed is, exist. They know where they are. So no, what, know where they are. what are we supposed to do as a country, as a nation? Yes, yes. Because you have people who are saddled with responsibility of both internal and external security. Well, so what are we supposed that to do? I've suggested a number of times. I said, these guys, let's have, if it's three months that we want to use to fight them, mm -hmm. let's face them. Over three clear, months. clear, clear, clear. That. All those contiguous mm. states, we have those states surrounded. They can't escape because sometimes when you attack them in Kaduna, they remove over to they come into Zamfara to let to let the fire cool. Mm. They can move from Niger through the Briningwari mm. forest, come into Niger. Briningwari is in Kaduna. Yeah, no, 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 that town. Through the Briningwari mm. forest, they are already in. Uh, Zamfara. In, in, uh, in uh, Zamfara. Yeah, Zamfara and Kassana, all of them. Yes, they, all they can enter. Through Sabua, for example. Mm. Sabua local government shares border with Kaduna. They can enter Kassana. So, we, a, a war against them must ensure that they have no... Continual bombardment. Those uh, uh, states yes, that they uh, do hiding, not have. Hiding yes. places, Because yes. if you fight them in Zamfara, they will run they 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 enter the meter over there. Yeah. And That's there are big forests that... Look, I was looking at local government casino where banditry is common, rampant. Basari, the one where they showed me. Jibia, Faskari, Safana, Kankara, Sabua, Dusima, Krufi, Dandume, Damusa. What is it? Many? What's, what's it many? No less <laughs> than 12 local governments. How many? Rampant banditry. Out of how many? In casino alone. All right. No. Uh, well, ours is just a mold opinion, as I always say. Um, the decision makers will take heed from here.